I'm feeling nervous of filming this video for some reason, but it's like... I've done this before. <laughs> um, hello, I'm Elle and I am a ethical fashion content creator. I make weekly videos around ethical fashion. And as you have already seen by the title, I have a huge haul of things for summer that I've gotten from secondhand stores. I just wanted to show and kind of like do a little run through of like all the little goodies that have piled up in a corner of my room. To get into it, disclaimer, I only buy secondhand things. Um, I try to avoid major retail spots and like fast fashion stores as much as possible. All the things here, if I don't explain where I got it from, just know like, most likely it's from a thrift shop or something. So I worked a couple of hours in the thrift store that's in my community and I just kind of found this when I was at work. It's a little leaf pillow. I think it's just super cute. Can you just like imagine it over here in the little corner? I love plants, I love flowers, I love books and this just kind of adds to the aesthetic, especially with the rose uh, bed cover. So little fluffy thing. I got it for like, I don't know, I think she put it for like two, three dollars and it's so fluffy and it's in such a good condition. Like this is summer vibes for sure. So when I've been shopping for things, I'm just kind of like thinking like, am I going to actually use this? You know, when I was working as well, this like mastery machine embroidery te techniques book came in and I just like love learning about like embroidery. I just recently made a YouTube video about reconnecting with my Latina roots through Mexican artisanal fashion. And so I think embroidery is such an important part of artisanal fashion. So hoping to find some things. This was for free. It was just like a little like, I guess, book printed out and then I got like this educational Puerto Rico coloring book. I need to relax. It's already been started. Some pages are used. I got this for free. I found it when I was working at the thrift store like I was saying and I just need to like relax and just kind of like color and be with art at the end of the day and the coloring book has like educational Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico facts. That's very historical and very like social justice -y. And I love how it's like bilingual as well and super like historical, educational. I am excited about this to relax during the night. So that was the first bit of the haul. And then I went to this like small thrift store and they have really cheap books. And in the upstairs section, all the, all the paperback books are a dollar. And I found this in a little corner and it's all about like eBay. I have an eBay store, if you don't know, it's called sustainable amor and I upload secondhand clothing that I no longer want and so if you want to check that out it's in my link in bio but yeah I really want to improve my eBay game so I really want to read this and it was such a good steal for a dollar I was like I think I already know everything I need to know about like eBay but it never hurts to like open it up and like browse it I usually work on it on some mornings yeah I'm excited to see like what new information I can get from this so really good deal for for a dollar I was not expecting to find this and then I found this like really why is it wet oh there's a water bottle in the bag I found this really cute like shirt it's very bohemian the pattern is like so cool I don't know if it's focusing yeah it's almost like a yin yang pattern which I really love and I'm really into like the square cut the brand is eclair and it's a size medium and I love like the little cinch detail right here where you can like draw in the waist. I have a very short waist, so this will be perfect. And I got that for $3, so I just need to wash it. And I love the blue. So I got these a couple weeks ago. These are like super high-waisted and they're not that short. And I love pocket detail over here. Like look at that, that's such a unique like pocket detail. It'll be a little bit weird, not gonna lie, but it's like not too much, you know? Like this one has a little bit more of a spicy pocket than this one. They're not proportional, I just realized that. <laughs> okay. They're the brand Patagonia. I haven't ever seen Patagonia like make dressy shorts like this, but they're really good quality. It was $4.50 and they're size 10. I'm trying to see the material. Oh hey, they're actually made in Costa Rica. What a winning goodie. 
It's, oh, 100% organic cotton. These shall last me a while. They're really sturdy material. I was thinking about like outfits and like cute things. I've been into like black lace tops and I think this would be such a cute addition to like a black lace top or like a cute little top. Just like throw it over and add like a little texture or a little like cute fun detail to an outfit without having it like weigh me down. It's super light, lightweight. Like I said, you can like see through it. Literally. It's a brand Briar California. It's a large, size large and it's like super vintage. I think you I will need a dry clean. Will I? Yes, dry clean only. But I usually just like hand wash it. But it's such a cute vibe. Look at the floral detail. Like isn't that like so cool? It's like art. And look at the buttons. Like this is such like a beautiful piece and I'm really lucky to find it. And that's why I encourage people to like go thrift shopping because you'll find the most unique, beautiful pieces you won't find literally anywhere else. I'm really into traditional like dresses and I got like this. I can like put it over my body in a way. Like look at the details. Like that's so cute. It's so beautiful. It'll probably go to my knees. I'll probably do like a knee length cute moment with this for the summer and probably will do like a belt to cinch the waist a little bit more and then we can I can do like a cute little necklace to it like right there I can even throw on like a cardigan like this one over it so it's more like subdued if it's kind of cold outside it's like coming together oh my god you can it's almost like I have it on but yeah, I love it so much. I got this for like $5. It doesn't say the brand or anything. Oh yeah, that's over here. It's Shein, size large, if you're curious. But it doesn't feel like a Shein dress. It's very good quality. It's very heavy as well. That's kind of what I'm worried about. It's very light up here and then the rest is very heavy. So I'm just kind of wondering if that will weigh things down and like cause something to like slip. So just kind of thinking about that. But I love the machine embroidery on it. I think it's a really cute like piece for like a party or something like that. So I'm excited about this. Moving on to a bag that I found. This really cute yellow bag is such a vibe. I love long handles and I also appreciate how it has, it has this little detail. And you can tell it's like super big and you can fit so many different things in here. Right now I have like some shimmers um, for my face. Uh, let me set that over there. But the brand is A New Day. It's very big, very compact. Has so many different pockets. It was in such good condition. I think this is pleather. Like the material is like fake leather. Yeah, the shell is non-leather material. And then it doesn't specify from there. But yeah, it's definitely plastic leather. And I don't really know how to take care of pleather. Especially yellow. But I think just with like a wipe, if it gets sturdy, I can like wipe it off. It has some more pockets over here. Super practical to like shove in a phone or something. But can you just like imagine just like shopping around with your little yellow bag and I got this for like five dollars So I'm really excited. I think it's such a cute little piece especially with like spring dresses I think it'll go, go, go well with like the other dress I showed you. I don't own a lot of sandals Which is something that I guess I've needed to work on for a while buying sandals a task But I found these so I think mission accomplished. They're so cute they're by the brand Kelly Rowland for Just Fab. And I love how simple they are. They're, they're tied together right now, but they're completely new. I found them at the thrift store where I work. The soles are completely unused and scratched. And I just love how simple they are, how minimalistic they are. You can just like pair these with any color and they'll work, you know? And they're really comfy actually. Like I try them on and like, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem walking in them. And so they're connected like this to the shoe and then you wrap this little like strap that's like also pleather material around your ankle and then you do do like a little bow at the top and I absolutely love the concept I feel like I'm a goddess when I wear these sandals and I think with the knee length dress that I was showing y'all like that would be such a beautiful little quirky like detail especially if dresses are like short at the bottom and you have so much like accessories at the top 
and like cute makeup like you need something at the bottom to even things out I feel like so like just having a cute little bow moment can even out any like outfit yeah and I think they're super practical as well like I always look for like cute practical things like if they're not practical or if they're not comfy I won't buy them like I don't know who wears things if they're not comfortable in it but major props for them because I can't do that and I love versatility as well like if I can't see myself wearing this with a lot of different outfits I'm most likely not going to buy it so just having this be such a beige like neutral color I think really works in favor to a lot of different other like color palettes and styles and patterns so I'm really excited about these I think there are five six dollars something like that I struggle with bags a lot because I hate carrying bags I'm ultra feminine in a lot of different ways but with bags I can't I really need practical bags if I am going to wear them so there's this like zipper detail in front where you can open it and you can just shove things in and then you can like zip it up really fast and it like folds over and it's like seamless so that's a really good like option for a phone or something or like notes or something really quick and then it has this other opening on this side where you can just like shove things it's not the biggest bag and then it like has a little button here you can just like push for a little bit more security and then it's also super versatile and that it has another pocket in here so you can shove something small in there it's like kind of the size of my hand and then it zips up this way and then that's kind of like the bag really cute really practical and i've been thinking about how to like make my outfit stand out with minimal detail or minimal like effort and so i'm thinking about this belt being a really like elemental piece and like vamping up like basic outfits without much effort it has like this little golden detail very cute shape i love the teal color it's just like really unique so i'm really excited to like work with this with like denim skirts and like white dresses and like colorful pieces i think the teal and the gold really work well with a lot of different um things I'm just cautious that it'll turn tacky real fast just because it's a really like bold accessory so I think I, I maybe I do need to be careful about like the color palette a little bit more with this one's to avoid yeah tacky vibes <laughs> so I love Montana where I'm at just because of all the water moments so I got a bikini that is just super like structured and like flattering for my personal body it has a lot of like structure on top for for the bra area and then it has like lining at the side of the waist there's like a line here and then there's another line over on the other side yeah you can see it that goes downward and that just is super flattering just because it makes you look thinner and i think black is such a good answer for bikinis it just like makes you more slim and the bottoms are like not that short they're pretty decent i love like full bottom moments like this will cover my whole butt and the front is like not too like skinny but yeah i'm really excited about this there's just a lot of great like water moments that i'm excited to um get into and that was like three dollars and the brand is j j crew i didn't know j crew made bikinis no wonder the bikini is more conservative that kind of makes sense like for older women <laughs> and then i got this bikini it's a little bit more like youthful i think it's gonna fit a little bit big on me it's a large marona they usually run small and it just seems to exactly fit me when i put it over my body again like it's the same thing like this will cover my full bottom and then the bottom area is like not too short not too like big or small it's just like enough coverage for me that I really like. And so yeah, this will be a really fun moment. A lot of structure on top. I love this little ribbon moment. It's from Marona. I think I already said that. And it cost me like, yeah, three, four dollars. And I'm really excited about this. I love the little pattern. And then more bikini stuff. This is Aqua Couture like bikini bottoms that I think will go perfect with the other bikinis. It's just a little skirt moment. Just to cover up a little bit more it does have attached um like underwear to it so i can just wear this if i want with like a normal bikini top but it's super versatile i love like skirt moments for bikinis and this is a size large i usually just get like bikini stuff a size larger just to be safe and i really love like the color i think if i were to wear it with this it'll kind of go with it it's not too off this will do this is practical it works and I think it was like three dollars 
So going back to my like sandal game, I got these Steve Madden sandals that are completely new. They actually have price tags for $39.97 from Nordstrom Rack. So they were not used at all. And yeah, they're size nine and a half and they're kind of bigger than I'm used to. I'm a size nine. Um, but I love the little like leather or pleather moment going on. They're super simple, super just like basic sandals that I think will go with really anything. Yeah, I'm lucky to find these. These were like $5 at my thrift store job. One way that I really like to elevate outfits is with bags. I think this will be such a staple for me in Mexico. It's such a huge piece. The only thing I don't like is this flap comes up like I was fixing right now. So I'm gonna have to fix it or put a button there and then put another button here to hold it down. But yeah, I just love it. It's huge. I love like the little embroidery moment that it has. It's like gorgeous, honestly. And then here's the back, no flowers on it, but that's understandable. And then I can show you the inside. I think it was made out of like those traditional blankets. It's just a very like minimal square pattern. But the inside is just like the normal fabric. And then it was like stitch closed this way. I think it was not handmade, but it could have been if it was a good sewer. You can tell this was like definitely handmade, but I don't know if it was professionally or just like a hobby. I'm not quite sure. I definitely love it. This will be a staple. It will definitely elevate any outfit I have. And I'm really excited to like put embroidery clothing with this embroidery bag to complement each other. And I love the straps. They're so comfy. And I love when they're like long enough to just like casually pull over your shoulder and still have some space. So I think that will like make it super like easy and like practical to, to use in any occasion. It's just I'm like worried that if I put too many things in, it's just gonna like droop and like ruin the handles. So I just have to be cautious. I'm not like overloading it. So that's the only thing I'm worried about, but such a steal. I think I got this for $4 at the thrift store that I work at. So I found this shirt um, like four months ago during the dead of winter and I was just like, I'm gonna put you away for a bit and come back to it. But it's this beautiful glitter, multi-patterned, multi-fabric sheer tank top that has like little lace details. It has little fabric moments. It has little glitter moments, more lace moments. And then if you turn it backwards, it also has those different fabrics, but it doesn't have so much like detail on the top, like the other side, which is understandable. But I love outline on the chest for tank tops. I think it gives good structure, just like that. And then I imagine wearing this with like a denim skirt or like just like basic, um, like white skirts, something like that. Um, it's by the brand Moore's. It's 100% polyester and it's medium. And I got this for like $3. I'm really excited for it. This is such a staple piece. And then wearing glitter earrings to it, I think will like emphasize the glitter. We can have so much fun with this piece. I'm really excited. It's elastic-y. It's gonna be super comfy as well, which I love. This tank top is really the best of both worlds. Like stylish and comfy and practical and everything in between. I love it. Such a steal, such a unique piece. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna beat <laughs> any piece that I show after that. So I'm gonna show you a book that I got. It's called The Political Economy of Mass Media. I've been super into communications. I've been into just like journalism and like what the ethics is in um, writing. And so I think just understanding the history of like mass media and like this talk specifically about manufacturing consent I'm wondering responsibilities do like press and like media and the like, communications have in sight of like society societal issues and like how do we frame ourselves into that like should we be biased should we not be biased because a lot of good journalists should be unbiased but some aren't and some companies are 
serving the interest of like certain political ideologies whether we realize or not so i will be excited to read this because communications media really does influence how we how we see the world so definitely need to understand the history to understand the present to move forward in the future excited about that book I just tossed it <laughs> beautiful dresses now changing topics i love this like beautiful dress it's it wraps up over on the neck it's by j crew it's a little bit big it's size 12. these dresses usually do run small like this does not seem like size 12 to me and it's a very like crinkly fabric i don't know if you can tell yeah so i'm not gonna like the texture so much on my skin but it is lined by a softer more like beautiful soft fabric so that's good the lining is 100 percent cotton um but the crinkly one is also 100 percent cotton and it goes a little bit past my knees and i think yeah this is just a perfect little moment for a spring summer vibe it's just black it makes you hotter during summer most likely i'll wear this more during spring love love cute little dresses and if you haven't noticed the pattern again it's the same shape that i usually go for on the top and then i love how it has space to accentuate it maybe with like a belt or something see how if i like put this over with this belt like that it just changes the whole vibe so I kind of imagine the dress without the yellow but with the blue belt like that would be such a vibe can you see it i know it's kind of hard to imagine it right now I can see the vision. It's those little accessories, it's those little moments. It's knowing like what your body needs. That makes the whole difference. Going into more dresses, I kind of got a similar dress also tied by the neck. And I love this one. I'm obsessed with this one. It's by J. Crew, also size 12, but it's not size 12. Like these dresses are so undersized. I'm normally a size 10, so this one will fit me. And if not, I can just like go in and like grab a belt or something and cinch it that way. But I love the little like leaf flower detail that's going on. Like, what is that? Like, it's so beautiful. I love the wraparound moment. I love, again, like the top moment. And then the back will be mostly open and it's lined by this like beautiful fabric. So it's gonna be super soft for me. Excited about this. And then on a whole different scale of clothing, I have this adult male California Berkeley sweater. It's super comfy, super just like soft. Inside it's like oh, beautiful. I could just sleep in this. So it's gonna be a casual thing if I have air conditioner. And I just love it. I love soft sweaters. And then I bought a water bottle. I just love how soft it is i'm a sucker for soft things if you haven't noticed but i i really appreciated how you could pull this out just really appreciated the patterns it's very like sacred geometric vibe and then it's for tea so you can put your tea in here and it gets steeped in the water bottle and you can just drink your tea out of there and it has like more like geometric patterns in there see that it's so cool and then you just kind of slide that back in. You put the top back on. And it says Sacred Lotus Love, Create Moments of Presence and Connection. So I just love the branding as well. And it cost me $1.50 because it was originally marked $3. So it's going to last me a long time. And I do need to drink more tea. So good deal. Good deal. Okay. So I have a couple more dresses. I love this dress. It has dragonflies. I've been so into dragonflies. And it's like this long dress that i absolutely love i know it's gonna be a staple for me the brand is swift originals and it doesn't say the size but it seems like a size large and then if it's a little bit loose it has this belt on here that can be tied in the back so yeah i really like love how fluid and comfy it's gonna be i think blue really works well with me so excited about this one and it cost me like four dollars something like that and then so excited about this dress my people's oh my gosh it's an embroidered long dress look at how fluid it is look at that embroidery it's so beautiful it is kind of dirty you can tell they really wore it just been based on the wear over here but it's such a beautiful like long dress it's super crinkly but it'll fit me and it's like full length you can't really see right now maybe if i get on the bed can you see it's like full length and then yeah you can 
take that moment. Let me know if you want like a full lookbook of all my dresses because I'm not serving them justice right now. The brand is April Cornell by Cornell Trading and it's a size large, it's vintage. I will definitely hand wash this. This cost me like $5. I cannot get over it. I'm so excited. I probably will have to wear like something underneath. So I'm gonna have to wear like a tank top or something. I got some like cool tops. So this is more like spring. So like for right now. See how fun that is? Oh, it's so fun. It's very lightweight and it's really open at the top. It's by Every Abercrombie Fitch and it was originally $59, crazy. I got it for like $3. This is such a like fun like club moment or also for the library. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? It's a fun moment. You can, it's very versatile. I think you can wear it not only at the club if it's paired right, but also to like the library. You know what I mean? It's just like those pieces you can just like wear wherever and it kind of works. Um, but this isn't really that much of a club vibe now that I look at it. But if you do open it up a little bit more, maybe. Maybe it'll work. And so I've been thinking about like fun moments and I think this will definitely be like a fun tank top moment. I love the little beading details, the floral vibes, just the velvetness is just softness in itself. And then the little material here is just like so cute, so fun. Just a cute little piece that will really work well with like a denim skirt or any shorts in general. So excited and this is the brand Ari Eon. Ari Eon. Yeah. Vintage pieces, man. They're so underrated. So underrated. Like, you can find so many cool pieces. And so I was kind of intimidated by this piece. It's this leather top. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. It's pleather, actually. And you kind of have to like tie it in the back. It's right now it's a tangled mess. But you kind of tie it in the back and it's like form fitting at in the front and it goes like this and I don't know I was just like so intimidated about it I just could not envision myself like pulling it off but it's gonna be a challenge just because if you don't see yourself wearing something because you don't think you're cool enough you should buy it and make yourself cool enough for it because cool is just a concept and it's by Mark New York Andrew Mark sorry it's size large and look at the little sewing detail there like that's so artsy artsy like Am I cool for this? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Um, and then here's another dress that I got. It is the same beautiful detail that I love at the top. And it has machine embroidery flowers throughout. And I love the contrast of the blue and the white with the orange. And it's by Universal Threads, which is a Walmart brand. And it's a size medium. And it's like full length. It's just gonna be like a cute little moment. It's gonna end right before the ankles and it's kind of big, it's kind of willowy, but I really like it. I feel like that gives it like a cute factor and I love just like the embroidery vibe. So I think this is gonna be a staple piece to be honest, it really is. It's gonna be comfy too, so. I also got these um, shoes, it has this like ribbon. So you also tie these around your legs and they're really used, but when I tried them on, I was just like fell in love with them. They're by, can't read the brand on there. They're like so used, I can't read the brand, but they are size nine. But they are kind of falling apart. If you can see here, they're just really worn. And they're like dirty, but I really like them and they were cheap, they were like $4. And they were not that like uncomfortable. I definitely see myself wearing this with like this. Like that would be such a cute moment, like honestly. And then the last thing that I got were these little flat heels, you can call them. They're Bernardinos and they charge me $5 for them. I don't know how much to retail for it, but I think they're expensive. They're size nine medium. And I think it's like real leather. They look like really good quality. And I think this will elevate any dress or any outfit to a more sophisticated level. They're like this and I just cannot get over how beautiful they are. I love the heel. They're like almost rounded, which is so interesting 
interesting. I haven't ever seen that in a shoe before. I really love how they have like some sort of, of uniqueness to them. That was the last piece of my huge like thrifted haul. I will be wearing this for a couple months. So starting from now until like August. And I don't really see myself buying a lot of other like spring or summer clothing. I don't own a lot in general. I have a couple of mini skirts and like shorts that I'll be wearing outside of this haul with some of the things that I showed you. But yeah, that's kind of it for, for the summer vibe. So I have some other things that I bought a couple of weeks ago though that I haven't shown that I could do a haul on. Let me know if you want to see another haul. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want to see a lookbook of all the pieces together. Most likely we'll be doing that. I think it's just like good to have visuals and have the aesthetic come together a little bit more cohesively. Not only for myself, but for y'all to get inspired to do the same and buy from thrift shops and secondhand stores in your local community. But yeah, this was the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video next sunday because i upload weekly <laughs> okay stay safe bye